Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you my favorite top five best hidden apps that come pre-installed with Windows 10. Windows 10 includes a whole bunch of pre-installed apps and a lot of them have some pretty powerful and amazing functionality. The only problem is, and we say this in the industry, unfortunately, a lot of it is just not that discoverable. Today though, I'll show you what all of that really awesome functionality is. Let's jump on the PC and let's check this out. And this brings us to hidden app number one, the Dictation Tool app. If you thought it was Notepad, unfortunately that did not make the cut today as part of the top five. With the Dictation Tool, you can talk to your computer and your computer will capture everything that you're saying. So how do you launch the dictation tool? Well, you press the Windows key on your keyboard together with the H key, H is in hotel. When you press that, that launches the dictation tool. And right now it's listening and look at that. It's typing every single thing that I'm saying. Let me delete this for just a moment and let's actually say something that's noteworthy. Here, I'll click on this microphone icon. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Kevin Stratford YouTube channel. Here I could click on the microphone once I'm done dictating and look at this, it captured everything that I said. Here it looks like it got everything, it even got Kevin, it misspelled my last name, but overall it did a pretty good job. So if you're tired of typing and you'd rather just talk to your computer, use the dictation tool. And this now brings us to hidden app number two, the snip and sketch tool. This was also previously known as the snipping tool, but for whatever reason, men just didn't really seem to like that name all that much. So what can you do with snip and sketch? It allows you to capture different items on your screen. So let's say here on the kevincookiecompany.com, I wanna capture this beautiful looking logo. I can use snip and sketch to do this. To launch the app on your keyboard, press the Windows key together with the Shift key and the S key, S as in Sierra. And this will launch the Snip and Sketch tool. Alternatively, you can also go down to your taskbar and simply type in Snip and Sketch and here you'll see it as the best match. When you click on this, this opens up the Snip and Sketch application and over here, I could kick off a new Snip. I'll click on New. This opens up the same interface and up here, I could do a rectangular Snip, here a freeform, a window, or just go full screen. I'll do a rectangular Snip of the logo. Here, I simply highlight the area of the screen that I want and when I release, it drops it into the Snip and Sketch app. Within Snip and Sketch, I can annotate my image. So here I could draw different lines on it. I could highlight different items. Unfortunately though, I can't add text. So if I wanna add text to my sketch, I have to save it first and then open it in a different application like Paint where I can then annotate it with text. Over here, I could save it or I could just share it directly with others. And this now brings us to hidden app number three. Windows 10 includes its very own video editor. You probably thought that Windows no longer included a video editor ever since Microsoft killed off Movie Maker, but video editing is back and it is now better than ever, or at least it's back. To access the video editor, go down to your taskbar and in the search field, type in video editor. And then here in the best match, you'll see video editor. Let's click on that. This drops us into the Windows 10 video editor and up in the top left hand corner, you can kick off a new video project. When I click on this, I can give it a name and I'll give it the very descriptive name, new video. When you click on OK, over here in the top left hand corner, you can add different media to your project. So here I can just drag and drop some different video files in. Down below, I have my storyboard and this is where I can start organizing my video. So here I could simply pull this down and I'll pull down another clip. Over here, I have access to some of the most common video editing tools. I could trim, I could split, I could add text, I could add motion. And up here in the top right hand corner, I can preview what my video project looks like. So this seems like a pretty good video editor. Unfortunately, it has a few glaring omissions. For example, I can't add any transitions between clips. All I could do is have a hard cut. 
Also, up in the top right hand corner, when I go to export my video, the highest quality level that I can export as is 1080p. All in all though, the video editor works fairly well, and when you're in a pinch, this is a good option. And this now brings us to hidden app number four, the Xbox Game Bar. With the Xbox Game Bar, you can record your screen. Just like we've done for a number of these other hidden apps, to launch it, let's press the Windows key together with the G key, G as in game. When you press both of those, that'll open up the Xbox Game Bar interface. And right over on the left hand side, there's an option for the widget menu. When you click on this, you can open up all of these different widgets, but the one we care about is called Capture. When I click on that, that opens up this interface where I can now capture my screen. If I click on this record icon, this will start recording my screen. So now I have a recording active. Over here, I can see that it's now recording. Right over here, I can turn my mic on or off, and once I'm all done capturing my screen, I can stop the recording. To view all of my captures, I simply come over here, click on show all captures, and here I can see my screen recording. So it's pretty easy. You basically have a screen recorder built in as part of Windows. Is this the best screen recorder in the world? Well, unfortunately not. There are a few drawbacks. You can't record your desktop, file explorer, and if you try recording in an app like Microsoft Excel, it won't capture any of the menus. However, if you're recording, let's say, a browser window, a game, this works extremely well. And hey, you already have it pre-installed on Windows 10. This now brings us to hidden app number five. You can use Word, Excel, or PowerPoint entirely for free using the Office app. This is yet another app that comes pre-installed with Windows 10. Down below on your taskbar, simply type in Office and you'll see the Office app as one of the best matches. Here when I click on this, this will open up the Office app. Within the Office app, in the center, I can see all of my different Office files. I could also use Search to search for any of my Office files. Over on the left hand side, when I click on this create icon, I can jump into a new Word document, a new Excel spreadsheet, PowerPoint presentation, a new form, or a Sway page. Also, I could jump to the Word start page. Here I can also kick off a new document. I could launch into one of these many different templates and I have a pretty wide variety of templates. And down below, I can get back to recent documents. Here I could also jump into Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, and I also have access to all of these different apps. Even if I'm not a subscriber of Microsoft 365, I can still access Word, Excel, and PowerPoint on the web directly through the Office app. And that rounds out our top five hidden apps. However, because I like all of you so much, I wanna add in two bonus hidden apps. And the first one is the calculator app. Wait, hold up, the calculator app, I know about that, it's a very simple app. But did you know that you can also do conversions with it? Over here on the left hand side, when you click on the hamburger menu, here we have our standard calculator. But when you scroll down just a little bit, you can do all types of conversions. Here, for instance, I'll click into currency, and did you know that one US dollar is 0.82 euros? Here I could click in again, and let's click into temperature. I don't know why we use Fahrenheit in the US when the rest of the world uses Celsius, so if I ever need to convert, I could easily do it here. 32 Fahrenheit is zero Celsius. Zero as the freezing point makes a lot more sense. Here I'll click on the hamburger menu again, and you can see many of the different conversions that I can do directly within the calculator app. And this brings us to bonus hidden app number two, and this is Paint 3D. You can create different 3D images with an app that comes with Windows 10. Simply go down to your taskbar and type in Paint 3D and then click on the best match. Within Paint 3D, you can pull together some pretty impressive scenes. Here, for example, I pulled together this scene with a baking tray, some chocolate chip cookies, and a container of milk for the Kevin Cookie Company. Here you could reposition different items within your scene. You have access to brushes, 2D shapes, 3D shapes, stickers, and even more tools. 
if you're interested in learning how to take full advantage of Paint 3D and even how to pull together a scene that looks like this, I've included a link to a video in the description that'll give you a nice overview of how to use Paint 3D. All right, well, let me know down below in the comments, did you learn about any new hidden apps with Windows 10? If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see future ones like this, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, I hope to see you next time. Bye.